This is turning into a double decker bus versus caravan video. It is, it is. <laughs> Who will win? What is happening, free game? We are coming to you live, but not live. We're on the bus! That's right! We're on the bus still. It's so much fun here on the bus. I've got to be careful. I'm very aware of this very low ceiling. Yesterday, Jojo put on some music and I tried to do a little jump, like just a little bit off the floor, but obviously I didn't gauge it very well and I just smashed my head straight into the roof. Hello. How are you doing, Jojo? Doing good. You've been enjoying staying on the bus? Yeah. Yeah. How does it feel to be having breakfast on a bus? I know, it's crazy. We had breakfast on a bus. Unless you actually bring your breakfast on a bus while you're uh, having a ride. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've probably done that before, but there's so many things we're just realising, wow, we have never done this before on a bus. Mummy's currently off having a shower, and we're getting things ready because this is our last morning here. It's always sad, isn't it? It's like the last morning here, you want to savour the moment, but you end up rushing around trying to get everything ready. But you're all dressed, you're pretty ready, aren't you? Mm. Show us what you've been doing outside on the frame. Because you've been going out here lots, haven't you? You've loved having this big open area. And so you've been climbing around on here, haven't you? Yeah. Good stuff. And we've got to clear up this barbecue before we go as well. Obviously, we had our barbecue, but we've got to get all of these ashes yeah. out of the coal. Look at all the coal. I know. We saw the cows this morning as well. Did you see them come over for a drink? Yeah. Wait, listen. Is that the crickets? You can hear crickets, that's right. How crazy is it you wake up and you look out of that window in the bedroom and you just see cows walking over to have some water in the morning. Yeah. Great sight to wake up to, isn't it? And I'm not for sure if there's any cows, but let's, let's go upstairs and see. Going upstairs? Yeah, let's go upstairs. Press the bell. Oh, yeah. I want the bus to stop so we can watch the cows. So yeah, we can go into this other bedroom which Jamie had originally, but which um, is just now for our clothes. I don't see any cows actually. No. It's a really nice view though, isn't it? Yeah. Best view on the bus. I see a butterfly. A butterfly. That's my room with this amazing terrifying shark on it. Is it a shark? It's got some weird spiky fish, isn't it? Yeah. Do you know what it looks like? It looks like the fish out of Finding Nemo that has the light above its head. Yeah, lives but really it deep. Have the light. Oh no. Um, I could add one on. Maybe, is there a light in? Okay, here's the just, light. Just turn the light on with that fish here. Hey. There we go. <laughs> yeah, because the sun obviously is hitting all of the top deck at the moment, it gets really warm upstairs, but then it's all cool downstairs. It's so weird, you go down the stairs and everything just changes. So today, for again, we are having a very, very long journey. We're gonna have to go from where we are in the south coast of England all the way up to Scotland. We're not gonna be doing that in one day, though. We're gonna be doing it over two days. There's a lot of traveling to do uh, in one day. Hanging up here. Yeah. You're hanging up there now. And for those of you that watch all our vids, you will know that Jojo absolutely loves a fruit pot. But we were very conscious the other day not to buy fruit pots. What reason did you choose? Plastic. Yeah, trying to save it's on the plastic. We don't want like plastic going into the earth and getting all like Mother Earth dirty. Yeah, and going into the ocean. It's a big polluter of this planet. So what did we get instead then? We got like all fruit and we're gonna make a fruit pot on our own. But look at the size of this pot for a fruit pot. <laughs> Hello mummy. Hello. Hi Free Gang. How are you doing? How was that shower? It was lovely. Yeah? Yeah I feel much better now. Good. So what are you doing now? You're just doing your makeup? Yeah I'm doing my makeup but I'm finding it really difficult because I was trying to do my eyeliner and Jojo every time he jumps on and off the bus the whole thing shakes so I kept like messing it up. It must be hard as well when the bus comes to a stop as well isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it is actually weird that I'm doing my makeup on a bus. Sat on the floor of a bus, on a bus. On a bus. Like, it's weird that we were sleeping on a bus as well. Yeah, I've slept on a bus, but I've never slept on a bed on a, on bus. a bus. I never woke up to seeing cows on a bus. I've never washed up on a bus. Yes, we actually washed up. I never sat around the table and had breakfast on a bus. Mm. Have we done this before? I don't know. I'm having a shower in a tree. You read Harry Potter and then you go, I'm reading Harry Potter in a tree. Uh, you're doing your makeup in a, a tree. Drink in a tree. Hair dryer in a tree. I'm looking in a mirror in a tree. Building Lego in a tree. Building a tree out of plastic in, in a, a tree. tree. Yeah! So we've got about 30 minutes to get out of here. But Jojo wants to go on the rope swing after we leave. Okay. Yeah, we so. Can do that. Oh, guess what I found, babe? Ta da! My sunglasses! Where did you find? <laughs> They were in the front of the suitcase. I don't know why they oh. would be put in there. Because you were disappointed saying, oh, we won't be able to do that challenge. And as in we, you meant you yeah. do that challenge. I'm going to do a, ch a challenge. 24 hours wearing these sunglasses. Well, not 24 hours. It's about being in public, isn't it? No, isn't... I've got to sleep in them as well. You're going to sleep in them? Yeah. You heard it here first, free gang. Comment below if you would like to see that. We mentioned it before, but let's just confirm now because she seems genuinely serious. Would you like to see a video of Katie wearing these for the whole day? Comment below, please. 
comment below <laughs> <laughs> so slowly getting everything put away now katie is getting all the bedding and finding a very inventive way of getting it down to us ready mummy yeah you ready jojo yeah <laughs> oh my goodness ready catch <laughs> well done mate good yeah. stuff jojo yeah don't you drop max he can fly why ready? doesn't he fly down you ready yeah oh uh, good catch good catch is there any more Yep, hang on. Harry Potter blanket and pillow. Ready? Right, go on <laughs> <laughs> What have you done with my son? Don't do it with the trunky. Okay. That's too down. far. That's too far. Too far, mummy. Right, I'm going to hand you the trunky. Good. Can't trust you sometimes. <laughs> Having a drive now? Yeah. Where are we off to? The wheels on the bus go round and round. What? Round and round. What? Round and round. What are you doing there, mummy? I'm making Jojo the world. Biggest fruit pot. This is an epic fruit pot. Look at that, man. Oh, yes. Grapes, different kinds of melon in there, and I'm going to put some apple in there as well. You might not see that fruit pot with daddy around. I think we can all share it. I've really enjoyed being on here, though. I don't feel like I'm ready to leave. No, I'm not ready to leave. Either. Yeah, I really enjoyed the bus features and all the elements. What's been your favourite area? The driver's cabin. Yeah, that's definitely, that's probably mine as well. I love going in there and pretending to drive. <laughs> I've got a thing about pressing buttons. You know when there's a button somewhere and it says do not press this button? I always want to press it. If you guys haven't seen the full tour of this bus and all of the features, every single detail, you can check the previous video, I'll put it up in the corner there. We show you all around, it's really, really cool, all of the features everything we got. Check it out. So it's time to say goodbye to Bertie. Bye Thank you, Bertie. Bertie. Bye bye, bye. Bye toilet with steering wheel. Can I say bye to the stairs? Bye stairs. Bye bell. Oh, I'm gonna miss ringing that bell. That doesn't ring. Oh, I just like pressing it though. Goodbye, lovely seating area. We spent many a fun time eating and working on computer and stuff around you. Bye seats. Bye kitchen. I'm actually feeling quite emotional about this. Yeah, and I feel like this has gone so quick. I don't know why. Yeah, this bus, like I'm glad it has the name Bertie because it feels like, it proper feels like a Bertie, doesn't it? It feels like it has character. Yeah. Shall I try and use my key to like hotwire and drive it away? No. It probably wouldn't move anyway. I don't know, I'm pretty good driving. He's joking, oh, by the way. Bad. I am joking now, of course I won't try and do that. Jojo, what's your favourite thing about Bertie? I like that bit. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. You've spent so much time taking us on all different journeys, haven't you? Should we go on another journey now? Yeah. Come yeah. on then. Thank you, Bertie. Bye, Bertie. Is it locked? It's locked. All right, should we go then? Yep, let's go. Come on then. We tried to leave, but there seems to be a beast in the way trying to prevent us. <laughs> My goodness, look at it. It looks smaller on camera, guys. I'm telling you, this is like 20 foot tall. So free again, we've been on the road for a few hours now. Jojo's been having a sleep. We've just been chatting away, listening to music on the motorway. We pulled over and made some interesting food combinations, didn't yes. we? We don't like wasting food, so we just took all the food that we had left in the bus from the food hall. And you had a burger bun mm. with avocado and crisps. Yeah, and oh, couscous in there as well. And I had a pot of Alpro with some Oreos. Crushed, crushed up in there. We actually did that for Jojo's what eight in a day, didn't you? Yeah. It's not too weird, but it was nice anyway. Maximising our foods. What we've just done we're now, we stopped in Birmingham, Solihull to be precise. Comment below if you live in the Birmingham area or Solihull area. We don't know this area very well. We've just stopped here because it's about two thirds of the way of where we're staying tonight. Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Specifically for him, yes. We just found a soft play area for him to go in. It's a long time for him to sit in the car so we can get in there, jump around, have some fun. Yeah. And we can get some bits and bobs done as well. Mm. And then after that, we are going to be heading for the rest of our journey. As I mentioned, we're heading up to Scotland, but we're doing this journey in two parts. So you're going to have us for two days in one vlog for a game. Should we get in then? Jojo, do you want to go in? Yeah. Oh, Jojo, this is a good place, isn't it? Mm. Where do we go then? Oh, oh, down there? Let's go and explore. Where are you going? You get back here. Come here. <laughs> that was another one up here. Get back. <laughs> See you later, Jojo. Free gang alone, they've done nothing. Get back here. Ugh. 
There's a monkey in my face. King Louis, what are you doing here? I'm tired, I'm walking around. Hello? Where are you gone? I'm lost. <laughs> so you got some chips and beans? Yeah. yeah? I can actually pick up beans with my feet. bit hot. They are. <laughs> oh, you look so hot and sweaty, Jojo, from running around. Is your food a bit hot? Yes. Why don't you run in there and then run back and it will have cooled down. Oi, what are you doing? <laughs> He's gone to let his food cool down and you're nicking his chips. I'm testing the coolness. I bet you're going to blame Nibbly Mouse as well, aren't you? Let me tell you, free gang, about no, Nibbly Mouse. No, no, shush, shush. Don't tell them about Nibbly Mouse. Nibbly Mouse only has ever been in the vicinity of when Katie has made the food. So I'm suspicious. When I've made the food and I've delivered it to people, Nibbly Mouse hasn't come along and taken a all nibble. Alright, just drink your tea and be quiet. Well, just shush me, eh? So, all done? Is that a fun place, Jojo? Yeah. Name of this place is Tiny Terrors, which I just found a very amusing name. Like, come in here, your kids will go crazy. But yeah, good little find. Thank you, Birmingham, and thank you to the lovely staff in there who were really kind to us. We had a lovely chat with as well, didn't we? Yeah. Mm. Me and Jojo are going to watch a movie in the back together. Or up a thumb. Are you going to open the car first? No. <laughs> So we are here, we've come to the travel lodge on the motorway. Lots and lots of driving today, but we're here settling for the night. Me and Jojo watched a nice couple of movies, didn't we, Jojo? Yeah. And we played lots of games. And now you two are excited to go and see what in the hotel room? You've been framed. <laughs> you've been framed. Mummy didn't always want to say it. He's been promising Jojo that you've been framed is going to be on ITV2 or something. Oh, that's right. I hope it is for your sake. Okay, let's get in and find out. Here we go. Here we go. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> oh no, my stickies are. Tom's gonna be there, but there. Should we yeah. get it on? Yeah, you. Look at Jojo's hair. It looks like a lion. Look, mane. you, jo Jojo. You look like a rock star. In the eighties, like all the rock stars used to like back comb their hair to make it look like that. Why does your hair look like that anyway? I had it in a bun. I put it in a bun in the car, didn't I, to get it out of your face? Tra -la -la. What? What? Did you just say, Daddy? The plus one channels on ITV2 plus one, which I thought would have you being framed on, they don't even have the plus one channels. Oh, you're kidding me. I'm not. I'm sure we will survive. Well, um, you've got to explain it to him. So? So you, we can't watch you being framed, in other words. Mm, mm. So we'll find something fun to watch. I think you might be saved with this. Yeah, cartoon thing with bugs, bees, with cat as a snail. Better than people falling over and laughing at them. You're lucky. You are lucky. Look at that. You happy with this, Jojo? 12 seconds later. So, TV was not cutting it. But luckily, on my trip to the car, I happened to spot a play area here at this service station. Jackpot. Now, this isn't a huge play area, but we can still have fun, can't we? So, that was good enough, wasn't it, Jojo? Yeah! That was good fun. We're going to go back to the room now, settle down for the night, yeah. and we will see you guys in the morning. And good morning. How are we doing, free gang? This is day two of our travels. We're in our hotel room, just getting things ready before we leave and having a bit of breakfast. And what have you got going on here, mummy? Just making breakfast with all the leftovers that we had from the food hall the other day. Mouth. Although the porridge oats weren't from the food hall. We brought those with we us. We brought those with us, but I've got porridge oats, apple, jam, and peanut butter. That sounds naughty. I've never had PB&J porridge before. First time for everything, eh? But you know what? I don't like wasting food, so I think it's gonna be really nice. So then we're gonna be eating all that, and then we better be heading out, eh? Yeah. On the road again. Oh, by the way, I have to admit that it was actually quite a good idea, the Lego travel pack. Because <laughs> Jojo's been really occupied this morning doing his Lego. Yeah, you've been having lots of fun, haven't you, mate? And you've made some nice models here, too. Jojo, breakfast time. Really? Mm. Well, I finished anyway. Where do you want to eat? I'll eat here. On the chair, in the corner, your own little chair. So as I mentioned yesterday earlier in this same vlog, we are traveling to Scotland all the way down from the bus and we're breaking it up over two days. There's an event that I've been invited to speak at called V in the Park. It's a camp out, but it's a really, really nice area. We've got some, lots of different friends and people we know staying up there, so we're really excited to go there. We're really happy to be taking you guys. And what's really interesting is from staying in a double-decker bus, we're now going to be staying in a nice, cute little caravan as well, which I can't wait to get in there. The pictures from the outside Outside, inside the surrounding area looks so nice I'm so excited I can't wait to show you guys we've got about three hours worth of journey in today so not too much we've done most of the journey in yesterday Jojo come taste this oh is that apple in there yeah what's that like no 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 no, no. 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 <laughs> 
<laughs> with his I have the power to come back up. So oh. you, you, he was about to crash, but he, he recovered well. There you go. You got a spork knife there. Oh, half cool. knife, half fork, half spoon. Hang on, that's three halves. <laughs> right. Third. Third, a third. A third spoon, a third fork, and a third knife. It's called a spork knife. That's what we named it. No one else. Yeah. Go sit on that red chair over there. Comment below, free gang. If you had something which was third spoon, knife, and fork, what names would you come up with for that? Can you beat spork knife? I want to see it. We're putting you to the test, free gang. Comment below. Porridge taste test time. Don't put me on the spot. I smell the peanut butter. Mm. Good work, Molly. You've done it again. I must admit, Katie is pretty awesome at just whipping up good tasting meals out of whatever's around. That should be a food challenge. We have to buy like 10 or 5 different things for you. Bob, that's my life. It's not a challenge. I do it every day. All right. I do it every day. <laughs> Comment below, free gang. Should we do a challenge like that? We have to pick 5 or 10 different foods and she has to make a meal out of it. Comment below. Maybe you guys could actually be the ones who suggest what foods it is to make it even trickier. Yeah. That's a good idea actually, I like that challenge. Oh, you like the idea of that, yeah? Mm. Confident already, are we? Yeah. I'd probably say 10 things. You'd say 10 things? All right, I'm up for the challenge. Come on, mummy. Let's go. Number five, don't reveal where we've been staying. Luckily, we didn't have to go through a maze to get to our room. No, but we are staying at that hotel in Burton on the way home, aren't we, for Scotland? Oh, no. <laughs> you could ride on Trunky all the way there, right? No, I mean all the way. We're getting the car and we'll see you there. <laughs> Almost in Scotland. Almost. Not there quite yet. And we're there. Woohoo! Woohoo, we made it. An hour to go there. Welcome to Scotland. How does it feel? Scottish. We're at Tesco's Jojo. Yeah, and I've woken up. You had a little nap, didn't you? But we've also spotted an Audi, so we're going to do maybe a very brief combo shop, aren't we? Where we just top up on the bits we've got. Yeah, I think. Mummy likes the idea of a combo shop, don't you? Yeah, I want to get some fruit from Audi because their fruit's really nice. All done. But yes, we've just topped up our food for the next few days. So we've got everything we need while we're staying in this lovely little caravan. Because otherwise, if you keep buying food at these festivals, it ends up being very, very expensive. We've got all our food in the back. Max is guarding the food. Got some oranges here. Yeah, I think Max is trying to eat those oranges. <laughs> you can eat, you can eat this instead. It's like a noodle snack thing. Oh, the sea. This little beach there. Hello. Such a look. Hello. Hello. Oh, he's looking at his mummy. Yeah, it's okay. We're not coming any closer. Do you know where the campsite is? Straight on. Okay, thanks a lot. Have a good day. You just chill. Bye. There's a little sign for V in the park. We are very, very close to getting to the campsite. I'm really looking forward to getting there. I'm really looking forward to this event, V in the park. It's been a really nice drive as well through Scotland. We've been into Scotland before in Glasgow and around the city. We've never really seen so much of the countryside. And this is what we think of when we think of Scotland, isn't it? It's beautiful. It's such a beautiful area. And the people in the shops, everyone was really nice. So nice. Comment below, do you live in Scotland? And are you equally as nice and in awe of this beautiful country? Oh. Balakodi! Oh, what a lovely little lane. It's very bumpy though. Oh man, I'm going for runs around here. Me too. <laughs> you oh. too as well, eh? I might go barefoot in a field. Oh man, there's going to be lots of barefoot in fields around What's this weekend. This? So we're finally here at the Balakodi campsite in Scotland. It's a very nice campsite. Just look at the view all around. Mountains, hills, mountains, hills. And then there's Jojo and Kate. And there's chickens over there. Yeah, look at them. They're just like finding little bits to eat around the grass. They might see us and be like, go away. Hello, mate. You're trying to see if they're interested in Lego. They seem pretty calm though. Most chickens, you walk near them and they just leg it. Yeah. They've obviously been treated nicely here. Should we check ourselves in and then get our stuff and go to our new home? <laughs> hey. This is called Bluebell. This is where we're going to be staying for the next Blue three Bell. nights. We were staying in a bus only yesterday morning. We left the bus and now we're staying in a caravan. How crazy is this? Come and check this out, guys. Let me make this clear. This isn't going to be like some tour video because it would be over and done with very, very quickly. But we've got two beds. Top bed, nice and cozy. Is it a double bed? It's like a double bunk bed in a way, isn't it? Oh, yeah. It's like a double bunk bed, isn't it? Mm. Oh, yeah. And Jojo, do you want to show the free gang your bed? Oh, yeah. Here. You're going to sleep under there? Yeah. How cool is that? It's like your own little den. Do you know what you could do, Jojo? You could maybe take a blanket of ours, hang it over like yeah. this. Yeah, that's Here we what go. I, that's what I was thinking of. Hang it over and then, oh, you've got a tent. His own little den. <laughs> let me see, let me, let me see in there. Stop. Mm. Alright, what about you move that bit out of the way, then you're going to have windows. 
This is what you're always trying to create at home, taking the cushions out and everything. Finally, yeah. you've got it now. So this is like our kitchen area. We've got some gas hobs here, some utensils, other bits and bobs here, pots and pans, plates, cups, knives, forks. Also got some books here as well, and those are little things. But that's without the most important thing, however, is the pot for tea. And this is, look, looks like a nice little heater here as well to not only warm up the caravan, but to warm up the kettle. This side, on the other wing of the caravan, nice little seated area. Sit around here, have some food. This is going to be where Jojo sits, no doubt. Mummy will be squeezing against the wall. And yeah, as you could be sitting here looking out the window. Lovely, beautiful Scottish countryside. Oh, hello there, Mr. Herberboy. How are you doing? <laughs> There's some strange man walking towards us. Hence hope of all, like and subscribe, woo! Get out of it, you! <laughs> oh, this is snazzy, then. You're, you're some weird nosy neighbour, aren't you? Come for a cup of sugar. <laughs> <laughs> cup of uh, porridge oats, maybe. Oh, yes, oh, we I... do those in a bit. And the last area of the caravan, it's a nice area which they provided us with tea, but we just realised this is a good storage area to get all of our food in there. I'm well happy with this, are you? Yeah. It's this is well cosy, isn't it? Beautiful. Yeah. I, I could live here. Let's, for the next three days or so. All right then. Should we go and get the stuff from the car? Or should I bring the car around and then we can load up? Yeah, bring the car around and we'll unload the stuff and you can put it back. So we are now all settled in. We've got all of our cases in the corner there, so they're out the way behind the door. Hung my white clothes over there because we ironed them this morning in the travel lodge. I'll be wearing those tomorrow, so I just don't want them to get creased. The whole table set up here. Jojo's just had a snack and I'm going to start doing some creativity. All the beds are made. And Mummy, you've done really good with the food, haven't you? We were trying to get things that are good for camping because we haven't got a fridge here. We got some fresh fruit. What did you do with the soy milk? That needs to keep cool. I put it in between two cool uh, coconut waters that we bought, so. We're very resourceful. Hopefully that'll work. We got some jacket potatoes to put on the fire. We got some bread rolls in the corner, they're good. We got tins because the fresh food probably won't last for three days, so we got tinned vegetables. So we can make like things like noodles and put some veggies in there. It's not the usual stuff we'd eat, but. No, but we've got a good balance of all fresh stuff up there. You've yeah. got oranges and tomatoes Ooh. and everything on the top shelf up there, haven't you? Yeah, we've got some artichokes they're nice artichokes are banging yeah and carrots and peas oh and what's hidden over the back there baked beans yeah. we traded in the other ones that we got by accident didn't we yeah like we did the other day with jojo's what i in a day video we're gonna wrap jacket potatoes up in foil and put them on the fire avocados they are normally be good out of the fridge and oh these rices i've got some nice they're like ready cooked rices all you have to do is just put them in because we have a hob so i can just put them on there and heat them up quite good everything we've got here really isn't it yeah i think it, it should last us but the question is mummy what are we going to enjoy more living the life in a caravan or living the life on a double decker bus oh it's a close one how do we compare we have to evaluate at the end of our trip or i don't know <laughs> yeah i'm thinking i love this it's so small it's like a tiny house yeah proper but we haven't got a toilet in here no and the toilet doesn't have a driver's seat you know that's a big thing to top yeah yeah <laughs> oh but we have a little stove in here. Cozier beds. It's Cozier wood. Cozier beds, yeah, yeah. It's wood so it doesn't heat up ridiculously hot. This is turning into a double-decker bus versus caravan video. <laughs> it is, it is. <laughs> Who will win? So I feel so blessed though to just end up in these really quirky places. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, V in the Park people, Dee, Caitlin, Lauren, all of you guys that have helped us out to accommodate us here and look after us. Yeah. We really appreciate it. I'm really looking forward to this weekend. Yeah, me too. Right, should we go and have some fun then? Yeah, look, let's get, should we go? Get the kettle along. Is that your idea of fun? Bit of a crazy party going down here, free gang, I'm telling you. <laughs> Go on then. Actually, you get the kettle on, I'm gonna show the free gang the outside, because this is one area I haven't shown you yet. So we've got a nice little picnic table out here as well. Got a bench as well, just to sit down. Jojo is sitting out here having a snack. In this area, there's a nice little campfire. They, there's wood that we can go and get to start a fire. And they've also got a little fire pit barbecue here as well. So we can have a barbecue as well. We brought the coal and fire lighters that we had left over from staying in the bus. So we could use that just the same. Look at you coming out of there. Oh, hello, how's it going? It's so cute. I know. It's better than the picture showed us as well. There's people over there kicking a the ball around. That's my ball. How dare they? That was under the bench here. Jojo's taken it and betrayed us. It's all right. Let, let, them, let yeah. them have their fun. I brought it with the intention to start off a big match. So I've got a plan where that's happening. Yeah, and then there's the view. All of these hills are all around. I want to get up this ridge here. I think I'm going to go and speak to the people who live here on the grounds and ask them what's the best way out and any good runs. Anyway, should we get some food on, some tea and that? Snacks and tea? Tea. Hello. Hello. Where have you been? Oh, I've just been outside. Your bed's all made for you. Do you like it in here, Jojo? I do. Really nice. What do you like best? Do you like double decker bus or caravan? Which is your favourite? I think probably double decker bus still. 
Yeah. He's got had a bit to drive, didn't he? Yeah, I think yeah, that... Yeah, that's the thing. So you think the double-decker bus? Yeah. I reckon they're both really, really good. So Jojo now is going to get his face painted. They've got a nice little tent set up and loads of kids are getting their face painted. So of course he would want that. So you've just jumped the queue to have your face painted first? Yeah. Yes. Unbelievable. Can you put your hair up? <laughs> when it comes to face painting, it's very serious, isn't it? What are you going to get? A flame going up the middle. A flame going up the middle? Fire. Jojo, what's happened to you? <laughs> Flame. Fire. And you got a skull on the chest. <laughs> Into the fire. Anyone that touches this skull gets electrocuted. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> you can't be you wanted to go for it, dear. Free gang. What we got going on here then, mummy? I'm making Jojo's dinner first. Jojo wanted noodles, peas and carrots. I'm gonna put a bit of tomato in there for him. And I'm gonna put some avocado in there. Avocado is one of my most favorite foods. I used to th think it was okay, but in the last couple of years, I've just, I love them now. Yeah, oh yeah. Eat them just like, like you're scooping out they're an so ice cream. They're so full of like, all the right fats and protein and stuff like that. Yeah, so, yeah. they're a good one. <laughs> Ooh, yummy. Mm. And we've got loads of fruit for you to have after that. Mm. Lucky boy. That looks real nice. Can I have some of that? You've got your own. Can I get some of this? Was it Orzo? Orzo. Orzo, not Ouzo. That's some sort of Greek alcoholic yeah. drink. Orzo and slow roasted tomatoes. Yeah, can I also have that with some noodles? You want noodles? And avocado, beans, peas. You want it all, you do. Yeah, but some of that as well, please. Right, you've got to put your laptop down now. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Thank you so much. Do you want a roll? He's trying to eat your roll here. There's a weird man approaching. <laughs> That <laughs> genuinely made me jump! Get out of here, you! Don't walk away with my food! You made us walk away with my food! Can we resume with the giving me food? I don't, think, I don't think I can resume life now! <laughs> How did you end up walking away with this? Right, Come back! There we go, you got your food there. All good, lovely, thank you, mummy. And you got your roll. Good. And you're having a nice roll now, are you? Mm. Fire a boy. Making more food, mummy. Jojo has just given me the strangest request ever. He wanted me to get a bun, put some toppings on it, then put some fruit on top, put a candle in the middle. Is this going to be eaten? Yeah. Who by? Oh, you're going to eat it. So you're turning this roll into like a birthday cake? Yes. Yeah, sure. You don't want me to sing happy birthday to you, do you? No. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Because that would be weird singing happy birthday to someone if it wasn't their birthday. I heard him ask for this and I didn't think it was genuine. No, he genuinely wants me to do it. I'm going to okay. do it. Progressing nicely. I made a platform out of a strawberry. Yeah, we've got a bun with peanut butter, then jam, strawberry in the middle, strawberries here and grapes there. And now, do you want me to light it, Jojo? Go ahead. I can't believe this is actually happening. Well, that's what he wanted. And my job as Jojo's mum is to make him happy. So... <laughs> Hey, well, happy birthday. How about happy bus versus caravan day? <laughs> what? Yeah, exactly. That's exactly what I was going to say. What? All right, all right. Happy be in the park day. Yeah. <laughs> or happy caravan day. Yeah. <laughs> Can I take a bite then out of your um, thing? Do you want me to cut a bit off for you? Mm. Yeah. A slice of cake, yeah. Well, it's like cake. It has similar ingredients. Yeah. All right, let's cut. Don't defend this, mummy. Cut a slice. <laughs> Funny how it isn't parting like cake does. I'm gonna put that on Let's there. Put this baby on. Show me Jojo. Show the freak. Oh my goodness. All right, put the kettle on, make a co cup of coffee, and I'll have some cake. Cake and coffee, yeah? Cake and coffee, yes. Okay. The things you do for your kids. Comment below how cute is this kitchen? <laughs> how do they comment how cute it is? On a scale of one to ten? Yeah. Comment below also which would you prefer, the bus or the caravan? Oh, that's a very serious one to put out there, mummy. Yeah. Throw around. around. I'd Look I'd how serious I'd this face is. I prefer the bus. You prefer the bus because of the steering wheel, right? Yeah. Yeah? All what right. about you, Mummy? I think I prefer... Oh, I don't know. Well, this hasn't got a sink or a toilet. And also the toilet is funny, so I prefer the bus. But the bed's really cosy. Look at this bed! I actually think I prefer this. As much as there's smaller space, it's like it feels... More open. Like it's very tight getting around upstairs and around the beds. Yeah. Because they had to work with the space they had. But with this one, it's, it just feels more open. And plus, you just step outside and there's a festival and everything here. And Yeah, comment below which would you rather stay in. Is that my coffee? 
Yep. And my cake. You got your cake there. Are you having any more of your cake, Jojo? No. You having your cake then, Daddy? I don't know. <laughs> It's good. So we're just settling down for the evening. It's all very nice and candly and lighty in here. <laughs> Everyone's got their fires going outside tents and things. But we're really happy to be here and be settling in. A crazy day to be from bus to caravan, isn't it? It's like these things don't normally happen. <laughs> no, this isn't an average week for us. But we really appreciate you guys following our lives and we'd love to hear your comments on what you think would look best, the bus or the caravan, or is there any other particular place you'd like staying in? Or if you've even ever camped before, let us know in the comments below. We always love hearing your feedback and your input on our videos. And if you're new to this channel and you like seeing what we get up to, where we stay, the sort of random places we could end up in, then we'd love it if you subscribed and joined the free gang. You can become an official member just like that and if you already subscribed hit the notification bell for you, so you're kept up to date on when we do upload videos and we will see you guys in the next video thank you so much for watching peace out bye